In this video, I'll show you how to remove specific products from your WooCommerce shop page in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com, go ahead and download the Restriction Rules plugin. Once you've done so, let's head back over to our dashboard. I'll leave the link in the description below. Okay, assuming you've downloaded the Restriction Rules plugin, the second step is to go ahead and upload that plugin. So you'd go Plugins, Add New, go ahead and upload the WooSuite Core plugin. Once you've done so, you'll see this WooSuite menu here. Go ahead and activate your license key, navigate to Add-ons, and then from here, we'll scroll down and we'll install the Restriction Rules plugin. So um, here it is, Restriction Rules. In your case, it will say Install. Just go ahead and click Install. Okay, and once it's installed, just go ahead and toggle this on to On. Okay, so we've successfully activated the Restriction Rules plugin. So we can just go ahead and click Manage here. Or if we refresh this page, you'll see the Restriction Rules on the sidebar here. So I'm just going to go ahead and click Manage Rules. And before I go any further, first I want to um, identify the product in which I want to um, remove from our shop page. So let's go ahead and visit our shop page. Okay, and if we scroll down here, we can see this um, beanie hat product. For this example, we're going to remove this beanie hat product from our shop page. Okay, so let's head back over to our dashboard and we'll scroll down to where it says um, hide product rules here. And then here we've got a few options. So we get to choose who we want to target this rule to. So we can set it to everyone, um, guest users, which are users logged out of your site, a specific user role or a specific user. So you might want to remove this product um, for a specific user segment. For this example, I'm just going to select everyone. Okay, and then I'm going to filter by um, products. So we can filter by categories or tags, meaning if a product falls in a particular category or tag, then it will be removed from the shop page. In my case, I'm just going to select products because I want to go ahead and just remove um, that bean of products we spoke about. So you just search for it. Uh, I believe it's this one and you can add multiple different products as well to remove and in the case that a user has a direct link to that particular product then you've got the option to redirect them to somewhere else so you can redirect them back to a general category page a shop page or or anywhere else you see fit so I'm going to delete this re redirection rule for now and then I'm just going to hit save changes okay and now when we refresh this page this um, beanie hat shouldn't be visible. And I'm gonna open it in a new tab as well, just so we can see what happens if you were to um, visit the link directly. I can see here in the tab that is showing a not found um, page, which is fine. So let's just refresh this page. And there you can see the beanie hat's gone. We've still got the beanie hat with logo because that's a different product. And finally, when we try to visit um, the product directly, since we don't have access to this, it's showing a not found um, error message, which is fine. That's the default behavior of this plugin. So that's why you might want to um, redirect users to a specific URL. So maybe we want to redirect users back to the shop page. So I'm going to head back here to where it says hide um, product rules. And then I'm just gonna add this um, redirection URL. Okay, so if, for instance, a user visits that products directly, we wanna redirect them back to the shop page. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and save changes here. And now, so this is the product page. When we refresh this page, it's, it'll take us back to our shop page. So it's a much more smoother user experience. And finally, before we wrap up this video, if we head back over to where it says um, hide product rules, so if you wanted to create um, various different rules targeting a different user segment, you'll just go ahead and click add new rule here, and then you'll just repeat the process for a different um, user segment. So that's how you remove a specific products from your WooCommerce shop page in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave it in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.